a virtual open house. My name is Stacy Sando and I'm here with Elaine Shaka. We are both realtors with Coldwell Banker Capital Gateway Realty and we're going to take you on a tour of Elaine's new listing. It's only been on the market for three days. The address is 921 Harlequin, Harlequin Way in Sassoon and I'm going to turn this over to Elaine so she can give us a tour. Okay. Thank you, Stacy. Uh, so this is 921 Harlequin Way, Susan City, California. It's a five bedroom, a three and a half bath home and it's just lovely inside. It's been uh, really well taken care of by the current owner who is the original owner. Uh, they've been in this home since 1981 when it was built and they've just given it a lot of love. They've resurfaced the entire exterior of this home. It's that stucco um, exterior and they did that. It was originally, um, I believe, paneling. So it's just done a really good job and they have this low maintenance uh, landscape and drought resistant landscape in the front yard. And I'll take you inside now. So here we are at the front door. So immediately when you walk in, you have this entryway with this tile flooring. You have a little uh, shelf right here for you to set your keys and things. And um, she set it up really nicely. There's a closet directly to your left as well. And that's, they've used that with um, shelving they have in there. And there's a secondary closet that she has a coat, uh, a coat hook for you to hang your things for that she uses as a closet as well. So directly to your right is that big downstairs bedroom. This was originally a living room dining room combo and they converted it when they had their uh, mother-in-law come and live with them. And so they have this nice big space. That's a huge closet right there between two. Oh, oops, sorry. Went right out. <laughs> That's a huge closet in this room um, right there with that double door. Um, it actually is an accordion door, so you just pull right out and it uh, opens really wide and nice. And they have shelving in there for uh, storage and organization. And then they have this handicap accessible bathroom in this downstairs area too. So there's a lip on this shower that allows you to just roll right in there um, and you can roll right out when you're finished. And then this um, faucet that they installed is actually um, for arthritic hands. So uh, it's very easy to uh, open just with, just with uh, the bottom of, or the top of your hand. And then there are dual pane windows throughout this home. And they're the newer dual panes. So they're really, really well done. Um, the carpet on the stairs is one year new. And then that's that closet under the stairs that I was talking about. There's some lighting in there and it goes really deep all the way under the stairs. And then here is just the star of this home is the heart of this home is this kitchen and it is just done so well. They had, uh, they did put a lot of thought into this whole kitchen and they really love cooking and they love spending time together cooking. So the whole family would go, be in here and the homeowner right now, she's just, She's sad to leave this kitchen because she spent so many uh, wonderful, had so many wonderful memories in here. These are Corian, uh, not Corian, uh, quartz countertops and custom cabinets all throughout. There's a garage uh, directly to the right of this range right here um, that she stores her mixer in and they've just utilized every inch of space in this, in this kitchen. Uh, this is a microwave and oven, convection oven combo and it's a six burner gas range KitchenAid, very good. And you have a pot filler above your stove right there. It's just a wonderful addition for somebody who loves to cook. All that cabinet is all that cabinet space that you see is usable. There are no faux, um, faux cabinets. So these ones directly to the left right here open up and you can just store a ton of spices and things in there. And then you have this beautiful, uh, large, extra large built-in KitchenAid refrigerator that was replaced in 2017 and it has a warranty until 2023. And that's included with the house? Yes, that does convey. There's inside cabinet lighting in these cabinets here and under counter lighting all throughout the kitchen. And then she's storing all of her, uh, these are antique mason jars. She loves doing some canning and things like that. So that's 
she has those on display. Now on into the family room, um, she has this built-in bookshelf and of course this will stay and it, she's done it really nicely and used that over the years for many different uh, children's books and things like that. And then you have this extra large uh, family room as well. So this is an addition that they had done to the home when they, a, a few years after they moved in, they decided they need a little more space. So they did an addition to the home with permits and I have those available on file as well. This is a gas fireplace. So originally this home was not uh, piped for gas and they have the permit for when they had that piped in for the kitchen range and for the gas fireplace, as well as for your washer or for your dryer. So in here is your laundry room and it has a ton of storage. She has her extra freezer in here and um, her washer dryer and then even more storage down here. Um, just a lot of space for anything that you would need to have in here and she's using the, these shelves currently as pantry, extra pantry space. And then in here you have a half bath. So there's two uh, one and a half baths downstairs on the main level. So if you did have an in-law staying in that extra bedroom downstairs, um, your guests would have a separate bath to use. And then directly through this door is your two car garage and it has shelving on the sides of it. it also, this home also comes with a water softener and that's located in the garage directly next to your extra large water heater. So it's a great space walk right in here so you can see just how large this room is. And there are ceiling fans in, the, in this living space here and in all the bedrooms. Is that a slider behind the, the couch? Yes, behind the couch right here, there's a slider to your back patio and then you have an extra large backyard. Let's go back there right now. So I will take you to the backyard real quickly. So this is the back patio that you have. You have no rear neighbors directly behind you. There's a walking path. And then on the other side of that walking path is Highway 12. And so show you another angle. She has a new uh, patio cover for this area um, that she'll either leave with the house or have installed before we close escrow. There is a shed on the side yard over here that will convey with the property as well. It's another picture of it. And then she used to do a lot of gardening, but um, has lost, lost the interest in it. And so um, there are garden beds if you choose to use, or you can remove them. And this yard is huge. You could put in a pool. You could do anything that you would want with this, with this backyard. It's a great size yard. So let's go back inside and I'll take you upstairs. And everyone, again, I'm just gonna reiterate that this is a five bedroom, three and a half bath home with a custom kitchen. And Stacy is on the chat box. If you have any questions, feel free to ask her and she will answer them for you. Or she'll ask me and I will, I will help answer them. So at the top of your stairs, you have this um, built-in shelf right here and they have it, they're using it as like a charging station for all their devices. So if you have kids and you don't want them to carry those devices into their rooms at night and you have this designated area for them to just drop off and um, she's replaced all the outlets throughout the home. And this particular outlet has a USB um, insert so that you can just plug your charger right into that. You don't even need the, um, the additional piece to, to charge right there. So let's go. These are additional bedrooms here. Bedroom number one. That's a good size room. And there's a cabinet or a shelving in the closet as well to keep it more organized. This is the secondary bath at the top of, at the top of the stairs. So this would be for you know anyone besides the master because the master has its own bathroom and they've remodeled this very nicely as well. Tiled everything from the middle up and then up to the ceiling in the shower area. All the floors and the full baths are heated. They have radiant heating. So it's just a little luxury item that 
they added um, for more comfort, the homeowner says she has champagne taste. So <laughs> we added little touches here and there. And that's a great linen closet right there. Those two doors right here um, are a linen closet. And she's using this other bedroom, this third bedroom upstairs as an office right now. And again, it has the shelving in the closet and it has a ceiling fan, but it's also a bedroom. So, and then finally the master bedroom. You have good size room, that's a queen size bed, but a king could easily fit in here. And then she has this um, closet, it's extra large. It has the shelving and organizer in it and it also has a light inside. So you, could, you can see everything, <laughs> which is really nice. And then the master bath, again, it has that radiant heat flooring in there. These are marble uh, tile on the sides and in the shower. There's a lot of really nice upgrades in this house. There are. I would love to have radiant he heated floors. <laughs> I know. And it's just very clean. They have the can lighting, um, had the recessed lighting done um, in the kitchen and uh, crown molding in, in most of the rooms. Um, she's just done a lot of fine things to this home. And being an original owner, you, you can think about those things and really thoughtfully plan all of those uh, over the many years that she's been here. So again, this is your downstairs bedroom. You could use that as a living, an extra living space if you prefer, or maybe a game room or something like that. But um, the way they used it was for an in-law suite. So that is 921 Harlequin Way. Were there any questions in the chat box, Stacey? Or no, on I don't see any. I'm looking on Facebook Live to make sure I didn't miss any, but nope. Not right now. All right. Well, if you do have any other questions or um, need to ha go and see this property in person, you can contact Stacy or myself and we would be happy to give you a tour. And I will pull up our contact information for you. Where is it? <laughs> Hmm. I'm getting there. This um, property has only been on the market for three days and it's getting a lot of interest. So if you are interested in it, I would not wait um, because uh, Elaine expects multiple offers coming in. We do. We currently have two offers and uh, we do expect to have more offers in, uh, in the next couple of days. Um, so hurry, because we're going to review them as they come. So with these two offers, we're just trying to set up an appointment to meet up and discuss them and see what we want to do from there. And now I can give you our contact information. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're both with Cole Banker Capital Gateway Realty. My name is Elaine Shaka, and we were sharing with you 921 Harlequin Way. And here helping me do this with Stacy Sando. And here are our phone numbers and emails. And feel free to contact us if you have any further questions. Or if you're looking and you aren't sure where to begin, we can help you with that as well. Hope everyone has a wonderful day and enjoy your weekend. Wear your mask and wash your hands and we'll see you next time.